Good morning. Welcome back to another vlog. I'm in Matt's car today, which is not my favorite, but I had to drop my car off today to get an oil change, and I think there's a hole in my tire. So I wanted to get that looked at because I'm driving up to North Jersey on Saturday for a baby shower. And I, if you guys know anything about me or been around the channel, I have really bad driving anxiety. As of like a few years ago, I feel like since I got into, a, not like a car accident, but a few like weird car situations, like spun off the road and land it in the median like during a really bad ice storm and then like I got a flat tire on a really really crazy busy road and like that stuff just gives me anxiety so knowing I'm going to be driving with a few things in my car that like are not perfect right now stresses me out so in Matt's car and I'm going to go to Panera for the day and enjoy we've had the craziest nastiest weather all week constantly raining and disgusting and today's actually the first day it's not raining but it's still not nice out and I don't think there's sun in the forecast for the next like week but little pregnancy update I am 27 weeks pregnant baby is the size of a cauliflower um, and I think it's like 2.5 pounds or something I'll have to look actually on my phone but in the last vlog I think it was the last vlog I was talking about how I was like kind of under the weather and sick and I feel like I'm definitely getting so much better now but I'm still like have this like congestedness in me but I'm not like sick anymore it's just like kind of lingering nastiness you know so that's that gonna do Panera and chill out get some work done all the things Need it to Panera. Let me get my big old coffee. Hi, Mr. Franks. Hi. I'm enjoying the sunshine. Haven't seen it in so long. I'm back home from Panera. I didn't spend too long there today because it was actually pretty nice out, and I wanted to get home and like not be in a Panera and now it's getting cloudy out but we are going to still take Frank on his walk today um but really quickly it is officially baby moon month so we're leaving for our baby moon in a few weeks it's going to be the very end of the month but the month is here and I'm starting to prep and get everything ready for it I'm super excited I cannot wait to first of all be at a beach and just to like relax and enjoy and just honestly get out of town I feel like this is the time of year that like the depression really sets in because it's literally been raining and gloomy and disgusting for the past week and it doesn't look like it's gonna be nice for the next week so I just cannot wait but level 8 luggage sent us new luggage for the baby moon coming up so I'm so excited to share I have so many different luggage sets from Level 8 and I love them and I use them literally every single time I travel so you guys have seen them a lot. They're my favorite. They're a tiny bit more expensive but the quality is so good and they honestly stand up so well like being thrown in the airport and like you know how luggage gets so jacked up when you're traveling and going through all it goes through but um, I'm going to open this bad boy. I got a bigger one for myself so this one's actually matte um and i just love their luggage so let me open this with you guys really quick okay i'm going to open this bad boy up comes in a nice little dust bag frank you're excited too here we go. This is the one I picked out. It is so pretty. It's two-toned, massive handle, and I just love this thing. I'm gonna quickly open this guy up with you. It has a little security lock set thing at the top here. Frankie is so interested in what we're doing, but I love their luggage. I picked the color Cal Calden or Caldon or 
Um, I'll, I'll link it down below for you guys. I'll have all this linked down below. But, excuse me, Frankie. This is what the inside of the bag looks like. So we have like the two major compartments, like normal luggage here. So one side here, the other side's over here. And I also love how they have these two little pouches here. Um, you could put like your dirty clothes in this pouch after you wear them, which is usually what I do when I travel. Um, it's like waterproof, so you could put like wet bathing suits or whatever you need to travel home with. Um, another little pouch here to easily separate and then another big section on this side. So that is what the little carry-on size looks like. I think this is the 20 inch. So it is, I think the smallest, it's, I think it's the smallest size to carry or the biggest one that's considered a carry-on. I don't recall, but I will link it down below for you guys. You can check it out. I'll link all the ones I have down below, actually. And I just cannot wait. Cannot wait for the baby moon. It's like getting real. And thank you so much to Level 8 for sending us the luggage for our baby moon. Um, we are so excited and cannot wait to be in Florida. Right, Frank? We're going to leave you and go to Florida for a few days. Would you love Florida? I think you would love to come with us. Would you love to come with us? So again, thank you to Level 8. I will have everything linked down below that you guys need to know about them. Um, and I just am a big fan. So I'm really excited to use these for our next trip. Coming up so soon. It's like three weeks away now. So. Are you going to be sad? Are you going to have to stay with Grandma and Grandpa when we're away? We're going to be on our baby moon. You're going to have to stay here with your best friend. Frankie, do you want to go on a walk? We haven't been on the walk in so many days. Let's go. He's so happy. Alright, stop. One leg in. Another leg in. Strap you up. Alright, so it's a little bit later. My work day is pretty much over. And I am carrying on the theme of this video um, of the baby moon prep. And I have a huge Shein haul for you guys. I ordered a massive order. Some of this stuff's actually for the baby shower. A lot of it's for the baby moon. And I just wanted to do a little haul, show you guys what I picked up. A lot of it's bathing suits, summer clothes, because I'm going to have a big bump during the summer. I had to pick up some new things. But honestly, don't want to spend a crazy amount of money on those things because I'm only gonna be able to wear them for a little bit of time. So I'm just gonna kind of dig in this box and show what comes up. The first thing I got is this straw bag. I thought this was really cute for like as a beach bag. So I'm gonna bring this on the baby moon and it's actually decently good quality. So that was only a few dollars and I think it's really cute to put like your towel in, your sunscreen, just like some beach necessities. The next thing, this is actually for the baby shower. We're gonna have like a backdrop that we're gonna paint blue, different shades of blue. Um, and I got this little Oh Baby sign. This was really affordable. Um, I'm gonna spray paint it gold and I think I wanna put it on that board or backdrop. If I can get it out, I'll show you what it looks like a little better. There you go. But decent size, it's not massive, but is that right? Oh, yeah, so it looks like that. And I'll spray paint this gold or some sort of color, but for a few dollars, I think it looks pretty nice. So happy with that. It also came with like adhesive little stickers. The next thing is a maternity one piece. Some bathing suits I got maternity, others I just got in like a large. I don't know if that's gonna work once I get a little bit bigger, but. This is a one piece, kind of one shouldered situation. I think it's really cute. I don't know what it's gonna be like when I am really big. I'm gonna be 30 weeks at the time of our baby moon and then obviously I'll be pregnant in the summer. So I'm gonna wanna wear some of this stuff in the beginning of the summer as well. So this is a maternity bathing suit. It has like the ruching right here. This one is very full butt, which I kind of appreciate. I really like the color, but the it seems to be like kind of turning outward here, and you see like the white from the underneath, which I don't love that, but I will live with it. I think this bathing suit's really cute. It's comfy, and 
it fits the bump well so i like it okay the next thing i picked up are some of these gauze table runners i got the largest size they had and i think they're five dollars for one of them i got four of these same exact table runners i love the blue color the theme of the baby shower is like blue and white flowers so i figured this would be perfect and hopefully it's long kind of seems long so you can kind of fluff it out and yeah i think this is going to be perfect honestly these are just as good as the ones you get on amazon for like double the price so i'm happy with this considering it's going to be something i use like once but i will have them if any of my friends want to use them for anything or if i have another party at some point in my life that is the same color theme i will have these but I thought these were a good little find. I got four of them, like I said. Okay, next is another bathing suit. This one is not maternity. I got a size large and really cute. It almost looks like it could be reversible. The inside's just brown. I mean, there's not many like seams or anything that would make me believe you wouldn't be able to reverse it, but um, cute, a little bit cheeky looking, but that's cool and then this is the top so just a normal little bathing suit actually the quality of this one is really nice i like this one a lot but i'm worried about being tight on me since i'm kind of growing i'm expanding everywhere if you know what i mean i'm not just getting a belly i'm like getting bigger kind of everywhere again tight on my hips i mean not the end of the world but it's also kind of like rolling which I don't love that. Um, I feel like I could have sized up on the bottoms of these. That's the problem of sheet, and you can't like pick the bottoms and the tops because the top fits me fine in a large bottom. I feel like it's a little tight and it also goes way up the butt. So cute, but I don't know. This is the next one. Really cute red. It looks really skimpy in this area, but we shall see hopefully the bump fits in there this one is not maternity but it should be like stretchy it looks really stretchy i got a size large in this though here is the next one i don't know how i feel about this one as much it's definitely not maternity and i feel like i'm stretching it a little too much like my boobs go straight down it is cute it's a little cheeky but um i don't know if this will work much longer so um it is cute though do all the bathing suits first i guess all right another bathing suit this one also feels like a quality really cute little ties at the top this one looks like it's gonna have like good boob coverage the boobs have gotten fairly large um and then the bottom are these like scrunchy material kind of like the hunza g bathing suit bottoms but obviously not hunza g <laughs> um but I like the material. It feels like good, thick quality. Here is the next bathing suit. Again, really cute. I think the bottoms could be a little bit stretchier just because I feel like it's kind of digging in on my sides. And I am growing a belly, but I'm also kind of getting a little bit wider on the sides here, which is perfectly fine. It's just digging in a little. But the belly looks cute. I think I'm liking the, one, the two pieces better because, I don't know, I just think they look better. <clears throat> one thing is the shoulders um the shoulders on these are these little ties which are so cute but this is the only thing that is keeping the bathing suit on so if it gets pulled or snagged the top's coming off so cute but just letting you guys know okay i think that's all of the bathing suits i got the next thing is this little like crochet cover-up situation for the beach i actually really love this it's high neck it is a really nice knit material and over a bathing suit i think this will be really really adorable so cute i love the color and i'm a fan of that here is the little knit dress this one slit on the side so cute but i do wish it was two slits i really do like this as a cover-up i think this is really adorable next thing i think this is a maternity piece and it's like these overalls that kind of are like a boxier ooh, backwards 
boxier overall have the cute little ties on the top and I think this will look really cute with the bottom. This needs to obviously be like steamed or something. It's very wrinkly. But this being like oversized, I think it's a really cute look. So hopefully that's oversized the way I'm envisioning it. Here are the little green overalls. They are cute. I feel a little frumpy in them. But <coughs> I could definitely I could definitely keep growing into them. And they are cute. They have fake pockets in the front here. Um, but real pockets in the back and really cute I'd wear it with like a little white t-shirt under it like this and it's comfy it's loose it's fit like everything you kind of want in a maternity outfit you don't want anything too tight and that gives the this is definitely like checking the boxes but it's not like the cutest thing in the world so I'll probably keep this and possibly wear it in rosemary but just kind of look like wide the next thing I got, I actually don't love the quality of this. I might send this one back. But I wanted another little like straw purse. And the strap looks pretty cheapy. But it is cute. I do like it. Like I think it could be, has potential maybe once you like fill it out. And really like stuff it full. I don't know. But it was a few dollars. I think the wicker is cute. I just think it looks a little on the cheap side. Which it is on the cheap side. I honestly can't expect too much out of it, so cute. Next thing I got, I got a huge pack of balloons because for the baby shower, we're going to be doing a whole ton of balloon arches and like balloon stuff. So I just uh, picked up a pack of these. They're like, they're like blues and tans, golds, a bunch of colors. We'll be doing a lot of balloon stuff throughout the baby shower, more than just like a balloon arch. So going to have a lot of that stuff to do next i got a pack of these like headbands very generic headbands that I've, everyone used to use these headbands back in like middle school i feel like and i feel like they're coming back so i got a pack of four black white and two like nude brown colors so really cute gonna become a little headband girly and then i think this is the last piece of clothing that i picked up and it's this like bodysuit one piece jumpsuit thing i like i love the look of these with a bump so i got this i think in a large it honestly it's stretchy but doesn't feel that big so i don't know if my bump will fit in this um as long as i would like to wear this so i might have to get another size up and maybe that will work for me but that's that this is the next thing and i love this this is so cute um i don't even know if you can tell the bump from the side or from the straight on but so comfortable i have no idea if it's see-through matt is not downstairs right now but it's so comfortable and my legs don't chafe while i walk it's long enough and i'm just a big fan i will definitely be wearing these a lot and honestly might pick up some more to wear throughout like the later months of my pregnancy but I might have to size up again if I want to wear them like nine months pregnant, which super cute. I think I'm going to be wearing this thing a lot. I also picked up a pair of earrings. I thought these were so cute. I usually don't get earrings or jewelry from Shein because my ears are sensitive. So these are probably going to be like not a very common occurrence if I wear them. But I thought they were so cute. They're like these mother of pearl type situation the back is a pearl i just thought these were really really cute so they were a few dollars and i was like i'm gonna pick them up they look really cute the next thing is actually another bathing suit i must have missed in the box i did get a lot of bathing suits um this one is a very bright fun color i feel like i went with a lot of these types of bathing suits hopefully my boobs fit in them but this is a large it looks large like this top looks big and then another scrunchy butt or scrunchy bathing suit bottom situation, which leads me to believe they're going to be really stretchy. They feel really stretchy and I need that right now because my, I'm growing outward. So here's this bathing suit. Really cute. You can tell I got the bump going, but um, the bottoms are super stretchy and I think I will be able to fit into these for a while longer. A little bit on the cheeky side, which I don't hate, I don't love. Um, but the top is definitely good for bigger chests because they have a very large cup. Or like it's a very like wide area. 
I did like cross here. I don't know if you like could do other ways. I felt like that gave me the best coverage on the top, which I prefer. So really cute, happy with this one. That's that. And the last thing I actually got is a hat. I thought this hat was so cute. Let me take the hair down so you guys can see the hat a little better. But I just thought this was such a little cute little hat. Obviously like in the right setting. <laughs> I probably look like a joke right now, but I think it's super cute. And I don't know, I just like it. So that's that. That was the little haul of all the Shein things. If a lot of this works, hopefully it does. Um, I think I'll be pretty set for Florida and I cannot wait. I honestly have a lot of clothes that are not maternity, but they're like stretchier dresses or big sundresses that are gonna work in the later months of my pregnancy. So I didn't feel the need to stock up too much because I don't wanna hoard clothes and then like after I'm not pregnant anymore, like not know to do with them or just throw them out or get rid of them. I just feel like I'm gonna try my best to not buy maternity for as long as I can. So this is my little haul. Hope you guys liked it. But go outside, a little ride if you want to. That's cool. I did what I